ladies and gentlemen, we are back. That is right. Those voices, one of them was okay. The other one that was annoying me, you know who that is, people. We send them the fuck off every time on these shows. I am John Everyman. And yes, we are back for another episode. Just not any other episode, people. Just not any. It's finally that time of the year. This is my favorite time of the year all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah we don't really do too many themes for this show. Our, I think our one theme has always been like just nuts and chaotic and dysfunctional, which we've been very <laughs> good with. But this one month, on top of all that, we have been consistent with, and it's my favorite so far, and it is Women's Month, Mes de las Mujeres. If I knew any other languages, I'd say it again, Women's Month. But yes, this is our first week, our first episode of it. It is our third annual, because this is the third one. That's right, this is the third one. And I am excited. I'm excited I'm here. We started off like we do with all other ones, chaotic. But we started this show nonetheless. And guys, how else is it better for me to start this Women's Month than with a co-host slash guest slash co-pilot here because if not her i'll be talking to myself she's gonna take your job buddy <laughs> she's probably gonna take my job too future host of this show recurring guest Yo. sinfully sweet what's up everybody how's it doing out there just chilling is chilling. it still sinfully sweet yeah it's sinfully sweet still yeah yeah because you tricked me the last time i did that nah, this... when we had you on our show I, in I introduced you with the other names and i don't want to mess it up what is that sinfully so sweet yeah, I know. Well, what were you before that? Sinfully sweet. It was yeah. sinfully sweet. Yep. And and now you're what? It's still sinfully sweet. The soul just explains my music. Are you sure? Yeah. And I thought it was something else. But yes, yeah, sinfully sweet, ladies and gentlemen. She is back with us. How are you? Doing good. Doing great. Yeah. Are yeah. you excited to help me start off this Women's Month? I'm I hyped excited. it all up. I hyped it up as best as I could. There. You excited? I'm I'm, I'm excited. Pretty excited. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. I feel like I haven't seen you since that last episode. I was thinking about it when we were talking about it earlier. I was like, man, that was like one of our, like it was, it was like our first 10 episodes. We were so young and so inexperienced. <laughs> now look at us. This is episode 120. So we're talking about 110 episodes later. Oh, okay. Nice. Look at us now. We're older. We're more in inexperienced than ever. We came wiser. into the no, yeah, we're wiser in 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 the negative sense. See, when we first started this, we didn't know much of what we were doing, mm -hmm. but now the time has passed. We definitely realize that we don't know what we're doing. Actually, we know a lot less than what we thought we did. So we've taken like maybe five steps back, but we're here, we're here, and it's been a while. And uh, I'm excited. I, I, you know what? I I've seen. I've seen you since, obviously. You know, for me, it's not like I haven't seen you since then. <laughs> but, you know, I've, I've seen you since. And it's been like two years, I guess, from that time frame that we've seen each other or from this episode till now. And um, I've seen a lot of growth with your work. You know, I have. You know, and, and mind you, I've known you for a while. I, I constantly see that growth with you. You know, do you feel like you're different from the last time you were here to now? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Very it's, different. Very more confident in what I do and how I say it. Yeah, you, well, like you that. seemed a little confident last time. Yeah, but, like, even more, you know? You've even. been able to kind of open up more to people. Exactly. Okay, okay. You felt like before you were reserved? Yeah. I never got that. Well, you know what? Maybe, I, maybe I've gotten that little persona from you, that, 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 that I wouldn't want to say shy because you're not shy. I guess like I'm shy at first, but once you get to know me, mm -hmm. then it then it's like you know another person. You're more reserved. Yeah, I think I'm like that too. You know, when I get into a room, like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, let me let me kind of empathize here. I'm trying to I'm trying to connect with my guests. Didn't I tell them to fuck off like four <laughs> times ago? Jesus. Well, I gotta say, your music on stage never portrayed you as a person that's shy. But that's what I was saying. Like she doesn't, she doesn't show like this shy personality. It, there's got to be a word here for it. it it's kind of like you're an intro extrovert. 
in a sense. You know, like you're introverted for certain things, I guess, and you're extroverted for certain things. I guess there's a time and place for things, you know. You just can't be extra everywhere you go. I don't like that. I feel like in large crowds, I'm okay. For some reason, in a large crowd, I feel like I'm by myself. There's so many people. Like, no one's really noticing, like, that one person and right. shit. You know what I mean? So, like, you can feel by yourself. But when you're, like, in a small group, like, when I say, like, a group of, like, five mm -hmm. or, like, even ten people, I'm not saying shit. I am so reserved. I think, I don't know why God wired me that way, but I, I think that's probably what I, how I could kind of describe you. I think for certain moments, you're reserved. And then for other moments, you're just very open. Because with me, you've never been reserved. I've never seen you with that shy shit. Like, you know what I mean? You've been real cool and, like, open with and with us. That's how you know we connect really good then. Yeah. You know? I like, think maybe it's just comedians. I think comedians are very good about, like, taking, like, the uncomfortableness out of the room real fast. Nah. Or identifying. No. Some don't. They make it more uncomfortable. Really? <laughs> that's horrible. I wonder if I'm doing that now. No, you're good. Oh, I'm good? Okay, thank God. Next topic! Things that was fascinating when we had you on the show last time is that your love for being in the outdoors. Yep. Is that still the case? It still is. You're still loving the outdoors? Yep. What are, what are some of the outdoor activities you've done since the last time we've seen you? Well, I, um, I renovated my whole backyard and made it into a garden. So now you live in a garden, I you, do. your backyard, <laughs> or is that your house? <laughs> like, I don't know what's going my on. My house is the backyard of my house. Your house, you live in the backyard no, of your I house. No, I don't live in the backyard. Oh, I thought you I said just... you ignored your house and I'm going to live in the backyard now. <laughs> <laughs> I spend most of my time back there, but I don't sleep yeah. back there. So you made a garden? Yeah. But what do you, do you camp in your backyard? Is, do you do that? Do you go no, to the tent? Camp. That's too much work. It's Miami. But but do you like being outdoors? Like you don't like the camping? I think we discussed that. No, I like that. camping, like... but not in my backyard. You wouldn't you know? do it in your backyard? You just built a nice garden. I've heard great things about it right now. <laughs> like I would have been back there and should have been. I built a nice garden. I bet us will sleep out here for it. <laughs> you don't you don't like it like that? That's crazy, man. No, That's my crazy, crazy talk. Somebody what might jump did, in my backyard. Yeah, oh, what I did had, you grow in the I garden? I had tomatoes, I had kale, I had corn, I had okra, collard greens. You said had. Did you eat it all already? I did eat it. I, I'm replanting now because of the new season. How long does it take for you to grow a new crop? Um, well, it's patience is a virtue, to be honest. Like, I know. Ask every weed dealer in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> not they be selling faster out here. <laughs> <laughs> she probably rolls up to a drug dealer and be like, Man, them plants gonna come out next month. She probably tell me about it. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but how long does it take you, like average for you? Uh about forty to sixty five days. Forty so that's hey, listen man, and weed that's baby, that's blueberry yum yum, man. That's <laughs> that good weight. <laughs> you get one of them forty, sixty day plants. Um I didn't you I guess what, universally like like I guess like corn and weed grow at the same time apparently there's no difference they're both related they're how did it taste though did it taste good did you, you taste way better than a store yeah way better than the store way better fresh what did you do just regular soil and whatnot regular soil we're water, gonna turn this into a huge farming rainwater. show right now huh? did you use pesticides and whatnot no pesticides no i don't even know what the fuck pesticides are it's chemicals to kill bugs. That's like you going outside and uh, spraying raid on your plants. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want that. That's why. <laughs> shit, why were we putting pesticides in our food to begin with then? That's horrible. We get our food from other countries if mm -hmm. you're not paying attention. And then when they ship it across the waters or by plane, mm -hmm. they have to go through. Uh, Customs. Uh, right? Yeah. And the bugs from other countries, they don't want in, in the U.S. So they spray them. Oh, so we can't be eating them apples from Fuji. I don't want no more Fuji apples, bro. <laughs> I want American apples. Which are the American apples? Are you growing any of those? When you, when you, no, I, no, I don't grow apple tree. I don't Why think can't we, we can grow can apple grow. trees? The temperature, I think. The temperature out here, man. We could grow everything out here, girl. Have you not seen the quality of the weed out here? <laughs> like, wait till they legalize the shit out here. California, eat your heart out. We're going to beat you guys with the weed game once we get it right down here. Would you eat an orange from New York? I probably would. You could lie to me. <laughs> 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 I 
Man, but that's dope. I guess you grow in like your own garden and shit. I'm not, I don't feel like I have a green thumb. Like if you give me a plant, my plant dies like in three days. Like I'm horrible. Yeah, like that is yeah, bad. that's why I don't want no money plants because I feel like <laughs> I'm gonna go broke because of it. Like I'll kill. I get you a plant that you don't gotta put no water on. It's called a cactus. A <laughs> cactus? <laughs> I'll kill a cactus, bro. Huh? That's why I always have aloe. Aloe is like cactus. Yeah, aloe. Uh, but I, I feel like I kill aloe too. Like I've I've, I've took an aloe and I see like the tips rot and shit and turn brown. Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, listen, man, that's why I'm not a, I'm not, listen, I'll smoke the shit. I won't grow it. Like, let's just keep that perspective rolling right here. It's all it's good for. It's kind of like me with meat. Like I'll eat the shit, but I ain't going to kill the cow. I'm going to raise the motherfucker to kill it. I'm going to do know? that. Would I know? That's pretty disgusting, <laughs> yo. Like, I don't think I, I think I'd be vegan. Like, if you wanted to make me vegan, just have me kill my own cow and then eat it. <laughs> like, that'll definitely turn me vegan. Like, I can't. <laughs> but then it might traumatize me. I might want to kill a plant. Because aren't plants living things? They are, but they're different. But we're murdering it. Are we? They can regrow. Can plants feel? Animals can't. Animals can feel and they cannot, but they can reproduce. <laughs> That's not the same. Yeah, they have sex like freaking humans yeah, do. Yeah, but a plant don't procreate. grow another plant. It like, you know, it like. How do you know a plant doesn't feel? It's not like a dog tell. Well, you can hear a dog. I mean, shrimp. We they say they hear it scream, or was it crab? <laughs> crab. <laughs> like you crab. know what I mean? Like how do we know we're not killing plants and hurting them? <laughs> like you probably grew that corn, and it probably like if if you could hear it. You probably hear it screaming like, ah, It'd be horrible. it's horrible. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burning me in butter. <laughs> Wouldn't so, that be messed up if scientists find that out later that, that plants can feel and we're killing them? So we're we're going to be evil humans. Huh? We're going to eat air? We should. We should make like food and pills like like they did. Like you ever seen the Jetsons? I like did. T- Like press a little button and you get like your filet mignon and like the size of a freaking Advil pill. And that's it. That's all you eat. Like, space people eat paste. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's fake created. Like, you don't, you don't, like, that's crazy, man. Plants, plants probably feel. They have to feel. How is it that everything else feels and you're going to tell me plants don't feel? They feel, but not in a sense that we can. Right. We can't feel for a cow. It's not like they kill it or the chicken. And you're like, oh, my God, I'm feeling that chicken's death right now. Like, I feel it. Like, you know, it, how do we animal, know who? You know, All what, right. What animal that I think is home to listen to and they tell them it's a goat? A goat? Yeah. They make noises? Well, all these animals got to make noises before yeah, they, they die. They do, but the goat sounds worse. The goat sounds like they're crying. Oh, my God. Like, this is horrible. I'm going to be vegan tonight. That's just, like, <laughs> we shouldn't move from this. <laughs> like, we should move on from this topic immediately. <laughs> I mean, fish don't scream. But we know they got to feel what we're killing them. Like I said, I'm done. I'm not going to eat no more vegetables or fruits. That's it. I'm going to be like Cynthia. I'm going to just drink air. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> uh, you know what? 2020 has been crazy. Yeah. It's... How has it been for you? It's been, it's been good. Actually, it's like, been good. Yeah. Wow, man. Don't say it too loud around others. I'm sorry. Luckily, you're in the show that <laughs> well, understands your statements, but people are really going through it right now. I'm glad. It. <laughs> okay. See, what had happened was I scratched this ticket and it said winner. <laughs> 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 Not like musically, like from my artist standpoint, it okay. hit me really hard. So I wasn't making any money from it. I wasn't getting any shows. Everything I did was online, which is cool, too. But it's nothing like being in person. But as far as like work, I wind up working with my father, cause like they had a this uh, business in gardening and landscaping. So I started helping out with that. So I ah, still that's had right. Some that's right. You're 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 into the garden. That's where you ended up wanting to build your own garden, huh? Yeah. You learned the secret to the trade and said, "I'm gonna do this at home for me." <laughs> you should camp in one of those people's houses. Then is that what you're doing? You're camping in other people's houses. That's why you don't want to go camping, cause now it's become your job. <laughs> I get it. And now you're gonna feel like shit when you cut people trees. People don't go camping in their backyard. <laughs> that's called white people do. Well, that's another one. That's that's a whole nother spectrum. <laughs> no, there's no. people that do that version, but but uh, white people do it all the time. Ain't you never uh, seen like Full House or something? White people go in their backyards. You know, <coughs> house, man. 
Huh? Not even real white people do that, bro. That's full house. They couldn't afford to go camping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you wanted me to go camping with you, it has to be in your backyard. I'm not legit going out into the woods. You got me fucked up. Let's start small. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start hanging out and let's sleep in the patio and then make ourselves onto the yard. That's what makes that. that I'm with you on that for some reason. It makes no sense to be outside if there's no walls and roof around you. Because like, naturally, as a human, that's where we come from. Yeah, that's where we came from. It doesn't mean that we're still there. But, I mean, you go, like, once a year or twice a year. I'm not saying, like, go sleep out there the rest of your life. Have you guys oh, there's some people that like that. Huh? Have you guys seen bear attacks? Man, you not know what? Live, no. Oh. I mean, I've seen it online. Never been, because there's no one alive to tell it. <laughs> they all die. <laughs> um, Cynthia, so so you were saying, so you ended up working with your dad, and, 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 and how did that help you out this year? Like, what, you... you, you Came one with the trees or some shit like what happened like your dad like your dad made you a master landscaper and like <laughs> how did this how did this year play out well for you so far like like you're saying i mean i was able to like you know fund my music okay and, and okay studio, i see what you're saying record. um the whole garden situation i lost a lot of weight this year too um and bonding with my dad because like even though i grew up with my father in the household mm-hmm. we never really bond you know what I mean? Like, he worked all the time, so he wasn't always home. So. Okay. Well, you're the middle kid. You said you were busy hiding, too. That's, like, <laughs> that's, that's a two-way street here, pal. Like, yeah, dad yeah. was busy, but you were busy hiding. Yeah, I was, I'm making up for those unseen moments. I see what you're saying. But that's good. Actually, no, I, I, I can see where, it, where the year's been good to you there. Um, but you've been able to fund your projects. But what about performing live? You said you, you're kind of stuck there. You yeah, haven't been able to perform lately. Yeah. I mean, if I did, it was only, like, online on IG. Did, and you said and you didn't like it. it, right? You said, like, versus being in person. Yeah, it's a different vibe. Like. What, what was the difference for you? What was the part you didn't like about it being online? Because I, I can tell you why. I never did comedy online. It's fucking stupid. That's, like, me trying to make people laugh here right now. Who the fuck am I going to make laugh in this shit? It's a fucking camera. Fuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, no, I can... Why did it suck for you? What was your opinion on that? Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know... When you present music to people, you have to have a whole audio set up. Not everybody have that or know how to do that. Right. So when you're performing, it may sound, you know, oh. like I'm recording from my phone. And it, 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 was that the problems you were having? Yeah. Like, I, they like the music, but it could be better. I've seen that. I've seen it actually, like, I'm watching, like, these national shows. Like, I think it was, like, Stephen Colbert I was watching. I don't know. You know Stephen Colbert? I think from so. From the Tonight Show? Yeah. On CBS? You don't know. You just nod in your head. <laughs> but I was watching it or some shit like that. Probably was could have been Jimmy Fallon too, one of those late night shows. And I was watching like artists perform mm-hmm. on like Zoom and shit. And I was like, this is horrible. It's like, like watching a YouTube video. Right. All this stuff is horrible. Like even some of these award shows. Did you see the one with uh, I think like the MTV Awards? It was online. No, I didn't see it. No? It was one of the worst shits I have ever fucking seen. I was like, why are we doing this? Like, a show like ours, mm-hmm. we get it. It's a podcast. We're we're interacting with one another. It makes sense. You're recording it, but when you're trying to interact with the camera straight up, you know, and, and trying to no get one these, there to yeah, like influence. Even your if they emotions. are, it's just even if they are. If, if I had right now live fe- live feed, yeah, we need to do a live feed throughout the women's month. Yeah, well, you know what? If I had a producer that I had to say fuck off to, oh, oh, okay, but. <laughs> You know, just the effects of it is kind of strange. I, I, I think I'm with you on that. Because, like I said, even being as a comedian, you can't make a motherfucker laugh on Zoom. Like, I would, I don't understand how they were putting shows together. Like, what fucking shows are you putting together, man? Like, this shit sucks. <laughs> you know what? What were one of the things that you missed during the pandemic other than performing live? Because that's a cliche answer as an artist. Hanging out with my friends. Really? Yeah. When we're back now, I mean... I know it was a while there, but you've been able to hang out with them now more recently, no? Yeah. Yeah, I kind I kind of like that. I kind of like that it's little by little coming back. I'm not I'm not too I'm not diving in like everyone else. In other words, I understand that things are coming back. I'm not just gonna be head first. 
you know, running out there. Like, I think clubs are starting to open up, like bars yeah, I think and shit, right? Tonight, everything was opening, I think. Really? Yeah. Okay, see, look, see, Miami was a sign. It rained today. They didn't want motherfuckers dying that fast out here. Because <laughs> no. you know we'll fill this shit up. I passed by Winwood. It was packed over there. Really? In the rain. It was nowhere to park. Oh, wow. See, a lot of people then, I guess, just want to die. Yeah, I don't you know. know. They've been in a home for so long that, you know, just like, Do you YOLO. F- <laughs> would you go out there right now and party? <laughs> would you go to Winwood right now and just hit the streets and party? No, it's raining. Well, <laughs> it's raining, but it feels on a sunny day. Mask down, baby. What's going on? <laughs> Pass the duchy to the left-hand side. <laughs> Next topic. So, music-wise, I know that I've you know I'm I've always been a fan of all your stuff. Mm-hmm. I really have. Thank I you. love your music. Uh, I even swear that those Kings of Leon covers you do, they're your songs and they're stealing from you. But that's <laughs> that's on the whole other topic. But what have you been able to do with your music since since the last time we saw you? Um, I've learned. I picked up another instrument. Learned how to play the ukulele. And I inf- I put that in one of my songs. A ukulele that I have coming out, yeah. Oh my god, I hate that instrument so much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think about bachata? You know bachata? I'm not gonna lie. Like, that instrument, become... I didn't like it either. And then I heard this one guy play like a solo on a ukulele, and I was like, "What?" That's me. And, then, and I loved it. And now you're that. And yeah. now you're gonna join the artist. <laughs> now she's gonna drop bachata jams. With freaking Bad Bunny over there. Oh, yeah. And she's going to be like... Ding, 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 You're going to listen to it, too. I don't know about that. I'm supportive and shit. But, you know, friends got to draw the line somewhere, man. Like, I can't do that for you. I don't like the ukulele, but the only song I would ever listen to is Simply Sweet. Maybe, maybe. Maybe because she's a co-host, I'm going to have to, like, put this sacrifice. We've already put her inside some sort of room that looks like it was filmed where the Saw movie happened. Oh. But it's fine. Like, I might have to owe this to you, but just one time. Like, Jesus Christ. But that's dope. I mean, ukulele's. A ch- I'm, is it challenging to learn or is it easy like the guitar? I mean, I always feel if you know how to play guitar, you can play any string instrument. So it was pretty easy to yeah. me. Yeah. It, it, what is, it has like six strings, right? Nah, like, four. like a guitar? Four? Like the yeah. bass? Yeah, like the bass. That's but crazy. Like, smaller. Did you have to, like, Adjust and play with like little tiny, like the tip of your fingers on that shit. Uh, no, cause no, I didn't have to adjust. Cause How long I, did it take you to learn to play the ukulele? Well, I mean, without having to go out and constantly playing that, like three months. Three months? You own a ukulele now? No, I still play guitar mostly, but yeah, the ukulele is just something to learn throughout this whole man. Thing. I'm. Listen, I was about to say, don't bring that bitch out around me. I, I got it in the car. I'm going to go Don't get even it. do it. Get it. Don't even do it, <laughs> girl. Don't do it. If not, like, I have to cut my ears off. And we need them for the rest of the show, I think. Um, but music-wise, you've learned to play the ukulele. But have you done anything new? Like, have you been... Dry- well, actually, that, that song we heard now is new. Yes. New Speak on that. Tell me, tell me what was going on with that song. I liked it. I hadn't heard it, and I'm your friend, and I'm so appalled that I have to hear it on my show. <laughs> so that song is called Life Paintings, and what inspired that song was me. I was sitting at the airport, not riding to get on an airplane at an airport, but it's like this big old parking lot that's by the airport, and you can sit there and watch the planes take off. So you just pulling all about to say, girl, like, what are you doing pulling up the parking lots, man? It's very, ter- that's like terrorist activity and <laughs> shit. Like, no, the really, fuck is wrong with you? It's a really dope spot. It's a restaurant there. So it's oh, a okay. Lot. I know what you're talking about. Right on um, yeah, exactly. Northwest, right there. What was the name of that restaurant? The Aero Squad Aero. 57. Yep. And they got that big military plane. Yeah, right off the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. That, that, you haven't had a lot of free time to park there, but I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got so much inspiration there playing. And then by the time I finished that song, that's when the whole COVID nineteen happened, or coronavirus. So this that is place just closed. before you're saying, or yeah. during? Just no, just like, before. Like I wrote this, I finished writing the song just be just before the COVID. Just before, happened. okay. But I recorded during the COVID nineteen session. Okay. The only thing is that that spot in particular was like my inspiration. Like I got so much like writing material just sitting there, and then it closed. So imagine like I had to stay home and not write. 
and get like, inspired by your one pocket. You know, yeah. it's funny you say that. Um, when I've done my writing, um, there's always a spot I, I found myself standing. Or, yeah, yeah, usually like a spot. I like to call it my uh, my little my little feng shui spot. You know what I mean? Like I can go over there, like I, I can just feng shui myself and just move. Huh? What? You'd be in the kitchen. No, not in the kitchen, man. Like that's nah, not in the, well. It could be well. You know what? Bullshit. It could be if you it, the, the spot and 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 I don't know. Is has that always been the case for you? Have you had moments like that, or is this the first time you ever experienced something like that? Where were you parked there and you were inspired? Mm, maybe once or twice. Once or twice. Well, you know, for me, I've had it like that too. Where like I'm, I'm at, I, I might. As, it could be like as silly as sitting outside your front door, like you know what I mean. But there's this one spot, this one area where you stand there, man. And you just getting so inspired. It's like the energy in that. It's like the reception in that area. Like like all the bars are up, and like all of a sudden now you're receiving all this awesome information of inspiration, like. I, 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 for me, that's happened to me a bunch. Like, for me, it's more like when I'm at my house and I'm like, oh, you know what? If I hang out right here by my door on this spot is where I get inspired for some reason. That's my little inspiration corner. So um, I'm assuming that yours was right there. Yeah. That is crazy. And what's the irony of that shit getting shut down, huh? Yeah. It's like... And it was a parking lot. So you'd think, like, you know, people come in there and they own cars... That's social distancing. They're not talking to anybody else, but they closed so it. The I think the, the Arrow Squad is open. open. Yeah, yeah. The, the parking is not. Oh, that's crazy. Um, so how far? How many songs were you able to get out of that one sweet spot? Um, like five. Like five? Oh yeah. shit! Were you able to record them all, or are you, are you still recorded. working on them? Three of the songs. Ooh. That is dope. Are you putting any new albums out or? or? Yes, <laughs> actually, um, coming out with an EP, coming the end of this month. Orig- originally, it was gonna be in in September, but you know, things happen. So October is the official date. In, uh, October of this it's the year. Official month, yes. Okay, so year. you're almost done with the project. Yep. Oh shit! Look at this girl, man. See, she became a better interview than what you might call it was supposed to pass by here. <laughs> Had a lot going on. Why are you bringing it up? Why, are you bringing it up? Why you gotta the- bring up old <laughs> shit? You ever heard of the chocolate bar called What you call it? I do. I love that chocolate oh, okay. bar. You love that one? Yeah. That's the shit, man. I've been wanting. I've been looking at it at the store all day, like all week long, and I'm like, I can't have it. You know, I think they only sell it at uh, Winn Dixie. I've only seen it at Winn Dixie. And that's vegan free. I mean, that's actually vegan. Is it? Yeah, because look, chocolate. Wait, chocolate might have felt the pain. <laughs> milk chocolate. It it's a plant. Milk chocolate. It's a plant. It's a plant. Chocolate it, is ca- yeah, cacao. And if you cut it, it feels pain. I'm telling you this stuff. You can't touch it. I got it. Damn it, brother. So I'm it's a seed. S- yeah. Well, <laughs> see now, that's where things get interesting, right? That's like eating babies. That's like the embryos. But there's no life, though. That's Well, yeah, see, if you get it at a certain time. So see, we, maybe we could eat seeds to the day we die. And not eat plants and kill them like murderers. <laughs> Whatever. He ran out of shit to say, so it's time to go. Yeah, that's, like, that's how we're going to close out the show, guys. I know how I'm going to close it out. Number one, Cynthia is going to play that. What was the name of that song? Is that an exclusive? Was that? No, it wasn't exclusive. It was? It, when is that coming out? Um, The end of October. The end of October. And yeah. what was the name of that song again? Live Paintings. Live Paintings, which I don't understand. I was going to get to that. Like, you were looking at airplanes and you got live paintings. Sure. Sure. It's, it's a vibe. You know, it's a vibe. I want to know who let this motherfucker <laughs> in. Like, who? How do you keep talking to me? Like... <laughs> Like, I want to know this. Like, the, as soon as we're done with this show, we need to understand, like, why does he keep talking to me? Like, I thought from the first... You were here, ep- again, 110 episodes ago. Did you see me talking to him then? What happened here 110 episodes later? Why is he talking to me? Like, I thought we established this. Um, Cynthia, I can't wait. We're going to have fun this whole Women's Month. I'm so glad you came. I actually like that it worked out like this and we got to hang out and just kind of talk. It probably was the best way to start off Women's Month with you here in the lead. 
Uh, I'm glad to see you again, and I know you'll be back here with all with us for the remaining weeks of this. Yes. And hopefully in the future too. You'll never know. You never know. We might do a repeat. Um, Walter, fuck off. I don't know how the fuck he. Came. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> Uh, and this is that same song again, live no, this paintings. This is another song. This is another song. What's the yeah. name of this song? Called Hypnotize. Hypnotize? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> shut up, man. Guys, check us out. Everymanpodcastshow.com. YouTube, Everyman Podcast Show. On social media, Everyman Podcast Show. Where can people follow you and check this music out? Um, I go by the name Simply Sweet, C Y N. You can follow me on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, IG, Facebook, MySpace. <laughs> And MySpace. You heard that. MySpace. I was like, what? <laughs> MySpace. This girl's trying to really take my show. That's a wrap for the first week of Women's Month, people. We'll see you on the next one. Crank that shit up and let's go. I like this. I'm going to jump in my car and cruise. They said they ain't cutting the lights off. Okay, uh, that was just making you don't sure. You don't pay me enough. Yeah, the sound guy says it's over. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't even care if I got nothing to do with the electricity. I'm just out of here.